Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And uh, as you know, Google I/O is happening right now. And uh, Google actually does this event every year, where a lot of announcement happens. Similarly, we have a lot of new Flutter announcements. So Flutter has just released version 3. So Flutter 3 is here and we are gonna just see that what are the new things which are coming up with Flutter 3. So if you have missed those things, let's uh, start the discussion that what is new in Flutter 3. So the first thing which I want to talk about is Material 3. Yes, you must have heard about Material U. Uh, if you are using new pixel devices, then you can already use Material U. So that's a new design language or the upgrade of the design language which material design has been using um, so right now flutter is now supporting material 3 so mostly widgets are now you know can be used as a material 3 component so that's one of the biggest change which you can see this time second update which i want to talk about is regarding flutter web so there is new app lifecycle api which you get with flutter web apart from that they have also changed the image decoding algorithm so now it uses new image uh, decoding and scrolling techniques which you may find in different browsers for example in chrome you can see that so uh, talking about new updates another update is that now flutter also supports foldable devices so there was a thread i remember uh, regarding microsoft uh, surface tablets where you know like or, or foldable devices which uh, so some people were actually playing with flutter to support that so it is now supported and they have also enhanced the platform views which is a good thing uh, if i talk about more features then uh, there is a new game toolkit which you, uh, flutter calls it casual game toolkit it's like um so if you have some idea regarding some you know mobile game then you can do it with flutter using this tool so we have to still figure out that what it all offers but yeah you can definitely expect more videos on it on my channel only and uh, next thing which we want to talk about is regarding dart so dart has also very like lot of new features so they have first of all enhanced the enumerations so now uh, like before you have to use like extensions to do so many things with enumeration but now you don't have to use it um, it works similar to how class works so again uh, on my channel you will see a lot of uh, examples in the future uh, regarding these new features uh, another feature which dart has introduced recently is basically um, earlier you have to use named arguments at a certain position but now you don't have to you know do it um, now you can change the order as you like and uh, that's a good thing because sometimes i used to miss that that i have to um, like place um required parameters for their only named argument so now you can change that order so that's a good thing um so let's talk about the constructors okay so earlier we used to have manual forwarding where you have a constructor you have to use columns and then super keyword with all your parameters you don't have to use it anymore now you can use super parameters basically inside that constructor you can just say super dot that particular property and uh, you can access it again uh, more explanation will be coming in the future videos so let's talk about all the features which um, you know flutter 3 brings to the table these were the major ones but apart from that we talk about so now it supports mac os apps right um, it supports apple silicon native library uh, binaries um, signed execute tables you will find um, where web lifecycle api is there and support for linux apps which is pretty good like a stable release uh, faster web image decoding uh, hybrid app toolkit foldable device support material 3 widgets enhanced mobile platform views dart enhancements like enumeration super constructors named arguments um, variable font support um, and code links has also been enhanced apart from that desktop accessibility has been uh, improved um, you now have cascading menus um, desktop system menu support is there and uh, ads performance has been enhanced as well theme extension has been added and the release model for ios has been simplified 
and CJK desktop support has been added. So there are a lot of changes. These are some of them which I can see as of now. But um, you will find more changes when you will play with it. So please try out Flutter 3 and uh, I'm sure you will love it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.